Hi there, my name is Dr. Sarah Louie. Call me Sarah. Uh, today is my very first day making a video blog, a vlog, and today I'd just like to talk to you guys about slow days in the clinic. So if you don't already know, I'm a naturopathic doctor. And unlike other medical professions, naturopathic doctors, uh, their appointments are longer and they're, they're longer and they're also fewer. You may go to a medical doctor and wait in the waiting room for hours, well not hours, but a while to see the doctor and that's because they're book back-to-back -back patients uh, or may they, they may even be double booked, so they, they have to see a lot of people before they get to see you. Uh, for a naturopathic doctor like myself, uh, clinic days can be very slow. And today I only had one patient. And I'm just going to be honest and tell you what that experience is like. It, sometimes it can feel very discouraging. Uh, uh, sometimes thoughts go through my head like, am I not a good enough doctor? Am I not approaching treatment well enough? Do I not know enough? Uh, how are my patients doing? Uh, a lot of stuff goes through your head, uh, like negative discouraging things because you're not as busy as you hoped. Um, as a naturopath, uh, when I was going through school, I got I was really really excited about uh, treating a lot of patients. Uh, in my internship year, I saw a lot of people, so I thought, well, I just got to continue doing this, seeing you know patient after patient, and life is going to be great. I'm going to be helping people, and I'm going to be making a living helping people. Uh, but in reality, after you graduate from naturopathic medical school, you're on your own, and you're basically starting your own business. Just go. Be on your way. Start your own business. And just like any other business, it's really, really hard. Um, basically, you start out as a nobody. Nobody knows who you are uh, until you put up a sign, put up a post, start telling your friends and family, and over time, slowly you start getting people into, you know, find out who you are. And once they come in, you have to figure out how you're going to provide value. How are you going to benefit them? And that can, that can be good or blow up in your face. Like you may think uh, and like spend hours forming a treatment plan for a patient and deliver that to a patient and they might not want to do it, that they, they might get a bad reaction from it, they, you know, find that it's good and they'll be like, oh, I'm good, I don't need to see you anymore, which is like the ultimate goal. Um, but like all those possibilities basically mean you see them and then they go and then all right, you just have to wait for another opportunity like that to come around for you to show what you got, show what value you have. And that process is very slow. <laughs> so I'm just wanting to share that, that um, being a naturopathic doctor isn't all glamorous. It isn't what... I think I expected or what my parents expected or my spouse expected uh, it's slow moving and all I can do right now is just try to you know focus on the patients that I do have and make sure that I'm crossing all my T's dotting all my I's making sure that I'm providing the best care for them and I, I do a ton of research in my downtime, which is like the the beneficial part of having time and not seeing too many patients is that you can devote your time to the ones that you have and read a lot about them. Currently, I have a patient that um, is struggling with a big phobia and 
Uh, I've worked with anxiety patients a lot, but major phobias isn't something that I've seen very often. So I'm just reading a lot of research. I'm reading a lot of books on overcoming fears and trying to help my patient that way by being a big old resource, like reading a whole ton of stuff and trying to condense all that information down so that it'll benefit my patient. So that that's the upside of having a lot of time. Uh, the downside is that I don't get as much patient exposure. I don't see different people so that I can learn from just new interactions and experiences. Anyways, I think this vlog is maybe long enough, so I'll just end it here and say if, if you're a naturopathic doctor or any practitioner who's starting off, like this is a little over my first year of practice um, and things are going slow, I'm right here with you. I'm, uh, I'm right here with you going through the struggle of providing value to patients and hoping that they'll um, remember you in the future if they do uh, have a health concern or they'll remember you in the future if uh, a friend or family member isn't doing well. So keep on trucking. The business of helping people isn't easy. <laughs> Uh, you'd think it would be like I I'm here to help you let me help you um, but some people aren't ready for that some people can't afford it unfortunately um, and and if people do benefit from it they they take it and they leave it and then it's just starting over again so let's go practitioners let's keep on trucking and Let's do our best to try to weather the slow storms <laughs> of practicing and make the most of our time, research, read, continue to grow, continue to study so that you can be prepared and ready for when someone does come walking through your clinic doors. Okay. All right. That's enough. Bye-bye.